Hello everyone, I just, uh, my new channel, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about what's been going on in the, in the past couple of months. Um, that I haven't really been on here. Um, my laptop tour, and I'll we'll see you in the next one. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about was my wife, for instance. Um, she has been like, really depressed and she uh, spent the night in uh, I guess the, the psych war, I guess, and she has depression and she feels that my transition is what is causing the depression and what basically happened was she, after all this took place, she gave me the optimatum that um, I wasn't allowed to be myself anymore. And she took my clothes and threw them in the trash while I was at work. And um, told me that I had to cut my hair back to the way that it was and she wanted me to delete the Lady Jane channel and stop going to Susan's place and talking with people and I flat out told her you know I was not going to delete the Lady Jane channel you know I told her I would stop making videos on Lady Jane so that's why I decided to make the new channel and she's just not going to know anything about it. Um, I'm still going to do what I have to do. Um, we had an argument one night and she blurted out in front of our younger two kids that daddy wanted to be a girl. And they all looked at me like a something I never heard, you know, this the expression they had on their face was weird, and, but I was okay with that because I wanted them to know and I was going to wait like she asked me to, to tell them until they, you know, each one turned 10 years old, and, but now all five of my kids know. Um, my youngest six-year-old son, uh, told his mom that um, he doesn't care if he wants to be a girl. You know, he loves me anyway. And that, that didn't make her feel too great. Um, at, at one point, I noticed that some of my clothes were disappearing, you know, and we moved from the last location where we were at. Um, it's well, anyway, we moved from there, and during the move, she took my bag of clothes, and she put them in the trash, and she told me on the phone that she threw them away in a dumpster somewhere in, in town. But, uh, my oldest son actually went into the trash and dug my clothes out for me and hid them in the basement. And I think I have a cold, so I'm going... I might sneeze or something in this video. Um, as you can see, this is kind of the stuff that I like. Um, I'm got my I'm up for a little bit of makeup on But I've took two months worth of four months. Um, uh, I'm sad to say that my oldest daughter was getting birth control pills, and I took those pills, and I, mean, and I, I took them. I mean, I can't get my hands on nothing, and I just in my mind, I was just so upset at the fact that 
you know, they can just go to the doctor and get medication and get these pills and get this and that. And I took the pills and I took them for two months. And I mean, I'm kind of, I guess, buying them from her. <laughs> um, so that's how I got them. Um, I did notice some things. I noticed um, hair growth. Um, I have lots of hair. I've got like one inch hair that's sprouted up all over my head. When I brush my hair, it sticks up everywhere. I noticed um, facial hair growing slower. I had no breast development. But when I ran out of the pills, um, I had some hot flashes and night sweats. But right now I'm in the process of saving the money. I'm, I'm saving up money. Um, I got a new job. And when I work, I have a locker. And I've been putting money in the locker and saving it up. And <coughs> so, so I can just buy a whole year's supply of hormones and, and testosterone blocker and stuff like that. Um, But, I mean, one of the things that happened was we would get into argument and me being a trans woman has always, it, it becomes like the ammunition that she uses every time. It's no longer any of the other things that we used to argue about. Now it's just all about transition. It's all about me wanting to be a woman and, and all these different things that are constantly being thrown at me. You know, and it, in the heat of an argument, you know, it becomes, I mean, she hurled words at me. You know, she called me a bitch wannabe and I was shocked when I heard what she said, and it was a very painful moment for me, and I'm being called fag and gay and all kinds of stuff by her, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Things have to be the way that they are. I'm, I'm just going to have to keep going. And I'm most likely going to be here for another year with her. And I mean, I've had it threatened. I mean, she's threatened to take the kids from me. And, she keeps hurling in my face that I don't have any rights being transgendered and she was talking about using this in court and you know and she doesn't want my kids to be around them. She doesn't want them to see what I'm doing to myself and but this is, I guess, it's a, it's a part of my transition, and I don't really. I mean, if anybody knows at an early age, don't get involved with somebody else. Just wait to find somebody to be with. I mean, this it's a painful process because I know that I love her, but at the same time, you know, I don't feel loved back. I don't feel loved. I feel like. She loved what she saw, but but she never knew me. And I know that part of this is my fault, you know, because I didn't say anything, you know. And I really didn't even understand myself. I didn't understand what I, what I was going through to explain it or to tell anyone. And I, I tried to, I guess, it, say it the best way that I could, but, um, I just, 
Mm -hmm. That's that's it on this video. I've got to stop.